We started receiving death threats after my dad reformed the banking sector in Nigeria. Adora Soludo speaks on why she relocated abroad. Can you imagine? That is what he says. She started receiving death threats. Okay, after the father, uh, you know, reformed the Nigerian banking industry. Hmm. I know at that time, banks suffered a lot when they were merging banks, forming insurance. But what Soludo did that time is actually what is keeping the banks afloat up to now. He did a very good job that time. He eventually became the best CBN governor because all the bank, all the mushroom banks folded up. They all merged and then formed a more solid uh, collaboration. And then the banking industry became very big. It became the first uh, item in Niger on the floor of Nigerian Stock Exchange. People were buying bank shares like fire. Everybody wanted to buy shares in bank. Bank became the in thing, you know. And uh, almost all the banks to raise their fund through shares. And people were buying, buying, buying. Hoping that everything will be okay. Now look at it. It has crashed. No wahala now. So let's see what Adora is saying. Adora Solido, the daughter of Anambra State Governor Charles Solido, revealed that her departure from Nigeria was prompted by threats to her family's safety following her father's significant banking sector reforms. Charles Solido assumed the role of governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria in 2004, following his appointment by former President Olusegun Obasanjo in July 20, in July 2004. And one of the pivotal reforms uh, implemented by Soludo was a substantial increase in the minimum capital requirement for banks in Nigeria, raising it from 2 billion to 25 billion naira, with a deadline for compliance set at the end of 2005. And this reform generated substantial upheaval within the banking uh, sector. Adora Soludo has disclosed that the far reaching reforms instituted by their by her father in the banking industry led to threats on their lives from certain individuals ultimately compelling her to seek refuge abroad hmm. people who left nigeria what was a thing that made you finally decide to leave that's the question we started receiving the threats after my dad reformed the banking sector in nigeria Hmm. So, so the, um, a question was thrown to her, why did she leave Nigeria? And that is why she had to answer that question, that she left because people were threatening her family after the father reformed the CBN. I know that that period, it was serious on the CBN, uh, on the banks, commercial banks. A lot of banks folded, a lot of banks merged. A lot of banks, new new banks came up again in the new name as a major bank uh, between two small banks or two or more small banks. And that actually, like I said, propelled the prosperity of the banking sector, popularity of the banking sector to today. And people started investing so much money in their banks, buying shares, buying shares. I know that in some people's houses, a lot of banking share certificates will be with them. But unfortunately, continuity is our hala, and nobody has taken it uh, serious. Nobody, now the tool process is dying down. They can't even hold the economy anymore. God, unfortunate. Now, buying shares in Nigeria is uh, a game of chance, okay? So, I say, you people always relocate abroad whenever your parents are able to get any juicy post here at home. Your father did not carry out any meaningful reform, but had access to huge free money. Can you imagine? Hmm. I thought I'd say, Mr. Reformer, oh my God, sister man now, can you imagine? And they called it her liar. Who says Soludo did not reform Nigerian banks? If you don't know, please ask questions. Yes, Chi Soludo was the architect of uh, bank reform reformation in Nigeria. He did a very serious job. Okay, one minute man, try to ask questions before you conclude on issues like this. Okay, uh, so I say, well, me, I am 
tired of rubbish talk from all these criminal children. I had the criminal children. Eh? You sound very frustrated. You better look for something to do with your life. <laughs> now, wow. So, what is happening here? We thank God Almighty for his see, Professor Solido for coming to rescue Nigeria Bantu sector. He did it actually. Eh? He did it very well. Which reform was that in this country? One that shall never end in Nigeria. Uh, have people, okay, people with short memory, have we just forgotten? how Solido actually reformed the banking sector. He did a very good job. Mm? He did a very good job. He did a very good job. Mm. And that uh, they're replying themselves here to another commentator. Uh, commentator. Uh, somebody say, you mean the problem by the cost themselves and took a negative toll on them, which they had to make sure they fixed. Who was approving banks to operate even when they didn't have enough equity. Eh? How and when did Solido reform any bank in sector in Nigeria? Can you imagine? All of them are fighting themselves, so they are all equal self. Mm -hmm. So there's no any reform by your father and Abbasanjo. What they are after is to go against the North. Among the 25 banks, only one belongs to the North. That's Bank of North. And the rest are satanas. It is a hidden agenda by your father and Abbasanjo because Abbasanjo is anti not He used your father to achieve his selfish interest. That is all. Hmm. I thought to see your reasoning. Why aren't you here? Eh? The truth is that the guy actually did some reforms. The reform was good to some people and also hurt some people as well. Obasi administration actually tried to put this right, lay some foundation. Unfortunately, after him, all of those things were dumped. They were not followed through. And that is the bad part of the whole situation. Uh, so somebody is replying, another commentator here, say, why are you guys like this? Why causing trouble everywhere? Somebody cannot do good things again in Nigeria without to uh, oppressing the not why you guys always like this hmm. oh, wow yeah. somebody is replying to solido daughter and i say girl nobody among your people will share your pains because your father refused to play along tribal line it is well can you imagine <laughs> that is what somebody is telling her now say don't complain nobody will listen to you because your father, you, you know, everybody is tribal. Me, your father is not tribal, so they don't like him. Uh, and that's obviously, it's okay. So thank you for listening. This is a CBN issue. Um, they are just, uh, this this daughter is just, I'm sure she's seeking for attention. That is true. She didn't need to bring this to social media or to any news line at all. So thank you for listening and let's have your comments.